So, um, so after class um, last time, uh, after we've sort of built our face detection and all of that, I decided. I said, you know what? I said I really wanted. Um, I want to be able to uh, to have a sort of graphical version of our face detect, right? So we we know which uh, we know basically the coordinates of um, of the faces. So we should be able to from that basically um, basically draw boxes around that. Um, so here I have. Uh, so here I have basically a little demo of that, right? So face detect graphical, and this is a, this is posted it all so you can kind of take a look. Right, so the green boxes um, are uh, are drawn by my code based on based on essentially uh, the data coming back. So for instance if I change these to um, one of these other ones. Uh, actually let's do this. Uh, let me go to celebs. It did not like that. So. Sorry? You're processing two no, I'm not. Um, because I'm just overwriting the values of the variables. That's all. Right. So the image bytes basically get set here. Um, this may be, and I didn't actually test this with the unrecognized raw mode. This is, yeah. This is so apparently it doesn't actually like that particular image. Let me just see if I can grab another one of these. That it will be happier with, perhaps. Wow, that's a long URL. All right, uh, let's see. Face to tech graphical. See if it's happier with that one. Yeah. So just to kind of walk you through some of the code and all that. Um, so a couple of things. So first of all, um, if you take a look at, oh, let's see. Yes, recognition code from Wednesday. Um, so I happen to have, so, so in the repo, right, there's face detect graphical and all that. There's also this requirements.txt file. So um, this file was, I generated from, uh, from the Python package um, installer. Um, so basically it has the list of the packages that you need. And actually, so if you, op if you open this up um, within, uh, within uh, as a project in PyCharm, it will actually see that file. And if you don't happen to have the, uh, the software installed, they'll say, hey, do you want to install? Uh, these particular libraries, so you'll be able to go ahead and do that um, if you want. Um, I also do have, I think I have a note here, yeah, um, I do have a note here that, I mean, the other way you can do it is just um, within uh, within PyCharm itself, uh, basically just open up a terminal and, uh, and you'll type pip install dash r requirements and it will automatically then install um, install those particular uh, those particular packages, right? Um, so just some uh, just some notes about uh, about that. All right, it's going back. All right, so um, I'm using a uh, a Python module called Pillow. 
Okay, so pillow um, basically allows us to uh, allows us to um, to draw on images and manipulate images from within Python, right? Um, so you'll see essentially from the uh, from the uh, from the module, I've imported uh, I've imported two classes, namely image and image draw. Um, here I have this uh, this B box to coords. Okay, so um, what actually happens? So again, if I go back to face detect, okay. If you take a look at um, at the responses that you get back from um, from the face detection, and you look at the coordinates, the coordinates look really strange. They're all these weird decimal numbers less than one. Okay, and basically they're sort of percentages of the width and height of the image. Essentially, is how they're doing it. So basically, here I'm simply uh, I'm simply sort of converting from basically given uh, given those types of coordinates, I'm converting into an actual bounding box. The the correct uh, the correct pixel um, notions uh, there. Okay, so. Um, you can see the uh, the code for uh, the code for um, for recognition doesn't really change, right? So I still do the uh, I still do the face. Um, here's how we can uh, we can basically then load that image up into um, into Pillow, right? So I can call image open since I already have the bytes. I can use this uh, this bytes IO um, object, wrap that around, and um, and open that up. Right. Then I basically get the uh, the size of the image. Okay. So what's going on here? This is uh, this is what's known as uh, as destructuring. Okay. So image size returns a tuple, basically something in parens. Um, it in its case it returns a two tuple. There are two things in the parens. The first thing happens to be the width, and the second thing happens to be the height. So the result of this is that now I have a variable called image underscore width that is the width of that image, and image underscore height is the height of that image. Okay. Um, then I create my drawing context, right? So if you've done, for instance, drawing on uh, drawing on canvases within uh, within HTML or within Java, for instance, this is this is fairly common, right? So image draw basically uh, gives me the ability get, has methods for doing things like drawing rectangles. Okay. Then. <clears throat> then the code is really pretty simple, right? So for every face that we see, okay, get the uh, extract the bounding box, and then I simply call the rectangle method, right? And then I call my helper method for converting that bounding box into um, into the appropriate list of coordinates, and simply say, okay, here's the uh, color that I'm going to use for uh, for drawing, right? So uh, zero red, two hundred green, uh, zero blue. Right. And I do that for each one of the uh, each one of the faces. Then when I'm done, we delete the drawing context, and I call show for um, on the image, and that will uh, that will basically display that for us. Okay. Questions, issues, etc. Okay. All right. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, I hope to have the exam posted. Uh, by uh, by tonight or later tonight, um, Wednesday we won't have class. Basically, you can be working on your exam, so you have you'll have roughly a week to uh, to complete the exam. Okay. See you next time.